everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop, LoneStarMopar.com. Wrapping up the end of the year here, we got a, what I think will be a pretty quick video. It's also turned from a beautiful 60 degree day to a really freaking cold night in the shop. But, uh, this was actually a gift from my mom and I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> and, uh, what it is, oh yeah, you might have guessed it, it's screwdrivers. And, uh, this was a deal we, uh... Got to do some running around the other day as a family. You know, people were finally off work and could just function as normal civilians. And uh, she kind of surprised me with this. We went in a place and I'd grabbed these. And uh, she said, hey, I want to get that, you know, kind of as a late Christmas present. I said, well, okay. And uh, here they are. <laughs> so, this is stuff I had tried to get. These are brand new USA-made screwdrivers from Channel Lock, as you might have guessed from the colors, if you couldn't tell. I'll hold this up for you. This is a number two by four inch, which of course is what we want for our testing we'll do. Uh, you can see right there, if I zoom in for you, built strong lifetime warranty. Now, this particular driver is new. They used to have, you know, the acetate handles. This is a total different take from them. Uh, if we can get this to focus. Let me actually look at it. Yeah, I had it oriented correctly. There is an identification mark here for Phillips and number two. And I don't know that I can ever get that to show up very well. I assure you in person it's easy to see. I'm confident you can see the Phillips right there. You can finally see the two. Again, in person you have no issues with this on the camera. It's a bit tricky. <laughs> but, uh, these are not entirely unique to channel lock because you can find the same driver slightly different in red from Mayhew. That's going to be your OEM, your manufacturer. And then the same setup with a darker blue handle can be had from Wright. I have tried to purchase this, the Wright, and the Mayhew for a very long time since they've come out, even before they were officially out. And it's a situation where you basically, they exist as standalones, which is fantastic. That's one of my requirements for a good screwdriver set. But I can get the sets, I just can't get the standalones. And the store we were in, Happened to have these there. I was like, oh, sweet. I've been looking for those for forever. They actually have right stuff, too. But I asked the guy. He said they didn't stock their screwdrivers. Didn't have Mayhew's iteration, either. Uh, but they did have Vera. That was kind of interesting. You don't see that too often, at least around these parts. But, yeah, this is Channel Lock's new number two Phillips in the standard iteration form here. I got to tell you, not only do they look fantastic, they actually feel pretty good in hand. That's kind of what I was wondering. This in particular, a lot of the Mayhew stuff I get with plastic handles, it's okay, but it's just okay. It doesn't have like smooth, you know, part lines. You can find rough burrs and stuff. This is really, really solid in my opinion. Obviously spins quite well here. Should be very, very resistant to chemicals, I would imagine, with this setup. You do not want to hammer this type of a handle. Uh, oh, I did not know this. Magnetic tip. Let me see if I can just rip that off <laughs> real quick here. Uh, if we zoom in. So I did not know that that was a magnetic tip. That's actually pretty cool. So right there, reinforced three-sided high-performance handle, vacuum heat-treated steel blades, and again, this is kind of their simple packaging there. This is sort of like a dedicated tool store where these came from. I've never been able to find them. Uh, like an Ace or a True Value or any of the typical locations. And if you wonder what the total bill was for these, I think it was like sub $13 combined. So basically like seven and change. And this was actually pretty spendy for a stubby when this was seven bucks. But under $13 for two drivers, you get your standard four inch shaft, number two Phillips, and you get your stubby pretty solid buy. Uh, this is very much a trilobe design, but it's, like I said, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Again, channel lock blue, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. There's not a lot of indifference in the middle. It's either like, oh yeah, those look great or sick. <laughs> I'd never want that. I personally really do like it. Now again, the camera might make this difficult for us as well. But right here, we've got the channel lock branding, which is done very nicely, I must say. You've got the warning, do not strike. They're telling you, don't use this as a striking cap, genius. And if you do anything, wear safety glasses. And then right there, 
made in the USA and there you've got your part number P204H so American flag there as well lots of little uh, thumb pockets thumb rests here it's pretty good spin zone I have to say handle is large but not large enough to be an obstruction in terms of fast turning there is a lot to like about what we will essentially dub this as a seven dollar screwdriver coming in to the stubby it's kind of the exact same setup. It's a slightly different handle design, though. Let's take a look here. This one is going to be number two by inch and a half. The part number is P201H, I believe. Right here, magnetic tip. Again, it's going to be the same selling points. A reinforced three-sided high-performance handle and vacuum heat-treated blades. The thing is, this is what I could not wrap my head around. That is a round shank right this is a square shank it's not a hex shank where you can like put a wrench we could put a wrench around the square if you get the right size but it's not hex shanked no bolster or anything but it is square stock i don't know if they thought they could put tangs on that and seat it better in the stubby uh, it's a very very stubby handle it's just not the stubbiest of stubby bit ends right your drive side is a little bit large in my opinion for a stubby still pretty nice again this is not something i would want to use all the time especially when that's super comfortable but for tight confines this could be the ticket for you and with again running with this is a seven dollar driver uh, let's actually highlight this real quick i'm trying to beat the battery down there's channel lock you guessed it <laughs> like do not strike and Come on, camera. Right here, the thing I really want you to get to see. Right there. So there's your P201H part number, but check out the flag detail and made in the USA. Again, I assure you, all of this much, much easier to see in person <laughs> through the camera lens. But uh, the back side here, it is also has your Phillips indication and the number two. We won't even waste our time just take my word for it it is all there but this gives you a really good look at the profile this one more so than this driver this one is just straight triangular design this one sort of rounds it out if you will but what i want to highlight is for a made in america screwdriver of what seems to be pretty good initial quality here where do they fall we recently took a look at this milwaukee this is basically double the price this came in at 1297 i want to say this might have been 697 70 something like that so a pretty good jump up similarly you're going to have klein to contend with uh klein you might not be as likely to find at say a mom and pop hardware store or like a you know local small town type of a setup Whereas if they stock channel lock, this could be sort of like your homeowner slash DIY setup. This would be more like electrical or industrial specific. Milwaukee kind of depends where they're stocked and where they're going to showcase those or try to highlight them versus their own imported lines. And then, of course, just real quick, we'll do the Mac, which again, I think they've moved to this style, which is coming out of France as opposed to America. But... If you're in the market for Mac drivers, you're probably not buying the channel lock if you think, whoa, I, I love this, but I'm not spending 20 bucks for a screwdriver. You're back down here in sort of like the normal realm. The Milwaukee, if you like red, if you like Milwaukee, it's viable. But the Klein, again, going to be tried and true, you know, sort of around the $10, $12 mark. This is actually going to be your most economical for made in America, readily available, small town USA, part store, hardware store type of a thing. I think a lot of people might pick this design over Klein. And again, the Milwaukee, I don't quite know what kind of a footprint they're going to have. But if you're just rolling on a budget, this is your budget friendly option for a made in America driver. The Mayhews, I don't know the price points on those, especially locally right i do plan to bring in one i'm sure they're going to be exactly the same i think the mayhews might have black shafts don't hold me to that <laughs> so it's just it's very difficult to get those because i've been trying to get the channel lock the mayhew and the right for a long time lots of times when you do the part number search or something you come in and you're still seeing the old acetate rights it's just a crap shoot no one stocks them because those types of places are going to have the climb 
<laughs> all right uh, that's sort of their bread and butter for you know screwdriver sets so I want to bring those two in but the main thing to take away if you're trying to keep it American get something of good quality this could conceivably be your entry-level price point again depending on where you go you may not even find Klein they're gonna be more electrical specific you know or industry specific uh, I think was it Home Depot like did they finally part ways with Klein like you're not even gonna be able to get them there which is kinda of crazy but if that's the case roll those out it opens up more of a footprint for these two and yep there's gonna be Milwaukee fans there's also gonna be guess what DeWalt, Makita, Ryobi, <laughs> rigid fans, right? Uh, Fest tool people, and they're not going to care about the Milwaukee driver. If you can get a made in America that they think is going to be better quality, and it's almost half the price of that, you could open up the door to a lot of people going that route. The big kicker is going to be, will these be available individually at the big box stores where most people shop, or will they have the singles? That could dictate your sales there. But again, where I was at, pretty cool. It's like a dedicated tool shop, so they had the singles. They actually didn't have sets, at least that I saw anywhere. These were the two I wanted. They had a really good selection of them. It's just, again, for testing, I wanted to go that route. And I have to say, this is way better of a handle than I thought it would be. Obviously, trilobe design, when you come in, I think of it all the time. That's like my de facto example for it. This has very similar stylings. Obviously, this is sort of like a different take. It's a soft, kind of multi-component handle. The color scheme here is very similar in terms of the blue, the channel lock a little bit more vibrant. This is a little bit lighter of a blue. But that sort of lets you know where to place it. I don't have a pair of standard dipped channel locks here on the bench, but I do have their code blue. Kind of, the, granted, these are filthy. They get used all the time. But that gives you a good idea of what you're up against there. So, in terms of a homeowner, DIY, this is fantastic bang for the buck. It's a unique color, which I know everyone may not like it, but if you drop this in the grass, maybe you're out replacing the sprinkler head or adjusting a head, maybe you're putting new gate hardware on, maybe you're tinkering around on a small engine, this is going to stand out, right? Obviously, you've got your high-vis colors from tool trucks and stuff, sort of the same concept. This channel lock blue but it's built in it sticks out like a sore thumb all <laughs> right uh here a gift from channel lock actually when we won a little contest a while back this is what their drivers used to be the acetate handle and that's a good example of the blue in fact actually back here i always have their six and one don't know why i didn't think of it but uh, i'm not sure what they're gonna do with this i don't know if this was mayhew all along and they're going to go to that updated handle or if this is still going to be available i actually have to look in that part number believe it or not 61a <laughs> if you want to reference it but right there that's sort of what they were coming from ignore this being a multi-bit driver we're sort of going from an acetate dedicated handle to this sort of a trilobe plastic handle so should be very good chemical resistance again you don't want to hit this you will tear it up pretty good but i have to say I do actually kind of like the feel of these in hand for the price. I think they're going to be a worthy addition to the shop. It'll be interesting to see how these test. And again, on the American front, that's a fantastic value. So that wasn't shopping around or anything. That was just we were in a local store that had those on the pegs, and it was like 13 bucks for the two of them, right? So with that said that's about all i've got i want to get inside get my dinner in the oven watch the cowboys and lions i've got a lot riding on the fantasy championship this week <laughs> and uh, i'm also cold so that said we beat the battery light channel lock long sought afters new style screwdriver finally found it in of all places a local shop very cool fantastic pricing looks great in my book some of you are going to cringe you don't like channel lock colors at all but uh, they're dipped pliers this is going to be what you've got my apologies i totally would have typically paused that but i know <laughs> And if I do, that's more action for the camera. It might actually kill it. I had the plier drawer open behind me, so I thought, you know what, we're going to grab it. A little bit lighter of a blue on the handle, but man, it looks really good again. There's that flag for the Made in the USA. 
if you have these, whether they're right, Mayhew, channel lock, whatever, if you've got this new handle, how long have you had it? How are you liking it? If not, have you struggled to find it? Again, I was well aware these were coming out. I wanted them. I tried to get them. And this is finally the first time I was able to do so. So I uh, look forward to testing these things out. But again, the big selling point there, aside from just the visibility and diverse homeowner DIY situations, standalone wise, that's going to be a really difficult price to compete with. So tips should be good i guess we will test that uh, this is a standard screw so yeah they actually are magnetized very cool i had no idea even from the mayhew literature i'm actually going to want to check that and see if wright and mayhew do that so i'm dying to see the right i know it's a darker blue but i don't know how dark of a blue because internet images suck it's like a rendering not like an actual stock photo so as soon as I can find them standalone, because I do not want to set, I want them standalone. I'll have them here, we'll compare them, but again, I'm thinking that might be the price king for made in the USA drivers. Mayhew might unseat them, but be honest, are you more likely to find a Mayhew red handle driver or a channel lock driver? Yeah, I'm going to say a channel lock's got the bigger footprint, right? So. We shall see. Maybe it's different in your area, but uh, yeah, that about wraps it up. Again, big thanks to my mom for the late Christmas present. It's much appreciated. Beautiful driver. Uh, I cannot wait to test them, and this will be its main competition here. Other American drivers uh, in a affordable price range. So the Milwaukee at twelve ninety seven is not terrible, but again, almost half the price there. It's something something you're going to have to uh, reckon with. So. With that said, I will quit rambling. If you've used them, let me know where you picked them up, how you're liking them, how you like them versus other drivers. For example, if you've got any VIT stuff, uh, do you find that you prefer that trilobe or the softer components of it? Do you find that this is better? Do you just tear up your VIT drivers with chemicals and crud on your hand and this just wipes clean and it makes you love it more? Whatever your story, if you've got experience, feel free to share it. With that said, you know the drill, LoneStarMopars.com is a website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you like multiple things we do here, I encourage you to subscribe. If you jump your charger across the creek, grab a brand new channel lock trilobe driver, spin it around. YouTube just might notify you. We got new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, 9 a.m. Texas time. With that said, I hope everybody's having a great holiday season, Christmas, New Year's, the whole shebang here. And uh, with that said, most importantly, I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop. Well, there I was about wrapping it up, heading in and uh, starting supper, and I realized, man, I should probably showcase the Code Blue screwdriver. And you're like, Code Blue screwdrivers? Yeah, I think I remember that. Well, here they are. <laughs> and, uh, these were sort of bought like early, early on. I don't even know. Maybe we made a video on them, but like I had seen these on the cover of a Summit catalog and I thought, man, those are super cool. This is years back, you know, kind of when we had first started getting the German drivers trying to replace the Kleins. And I thought, you know, those are imported, you know, the code blue in this case. That code blue is just a handle made in America on these 318 CBs. But this set, yeah, this is totally an import. It kind of gets confusing. But I kind of use these as sort of like a really nice, you know, beater set of drivers at the time. They're always out. They're on a little performance tool cart back there. You don't see it too often sometimes in like the automotive stuff we do. But these are striking cap. They've been beat up. I believe they're magnetic tips. Yep. <laughs> And uh, they're not terrible, but if you look at it, it's kind of got a unique shape. It's sort of trilobe with a contour. It's kind of, again, with the multi-components and everything. Right here, just a quick comparison. This is not the Phillips one. I think I have it set to the side for testing, but these slotted ones, I beat the snot out of them. That's why, I don't know, you can probably tell they're dirty, but also, like, the handles get beat up pretty good. <laughs> So this guy right here, though, it kind of gives you an example. So if you've seen the Code Blues or if you're a Channel Lock fan and you have this set of Code Blue drivers, this is sort of more of a deeper, truer uh, Channel Lock blue, I would say. The Code Blue, always sort of more of a sky blue, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, and I thought, that, man, you know, I, I can't leave this video without doing that comparison. So there you go. 
<laughs> more channel lock drivers but uh yeah i just wanted to get that one covered again i'm freezing out here i'm gonna head inside but uh if you've got the code blues are you thinking this could be your next set is these about worn out are you gonna upgrade would you go back with these i assume they're still available i honestly haven't bothered to check but uh right here again this made in the usa equivalent is essentially uh, what we have from their acetate line kind of graduating to this so this would be their made in America versus their import Which one do you like and again if you had these are these going to be deemed a worthy upgrade? Let me know in the comments section but once again could not leave well enough alone without covering that and just felt terrible So, uh, But that said thanks for watching. I'll catch you back for more from the shop